Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, in the video that I did on DOM tubing for barrels, uh, one of my viewers had requested to see sort of an alternate proof test where you know I just use a standard projectile but progressively increase the powder charge until the barrel is completely full of powder. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We'll start off with just my typical load for this, uh, which is uh, about two spouts of black powder with the powder measure that I've got here. Uh, that comes to about 50 to 60 grains of Pyrodex. Uh, and then after I shoot one of those, I'll just step up the loads uh, and start shooting them remotely from my vise over there, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the vise kind of came apart on us there. I don't think it was because the recoil of this load was so particularly monstrous, so much as just that that vise has taken a lot of punishment over the years, and uh, it's got some cracks that finally were driven to failure. Uh, so I'll jerry-rig something up to finish this test, and then I'll weld the vise back together later. Anyway, that was 100 grains. Now let's try 250. This is roughly a 250 grain powder measure. So with 250 grains of powder, you can see we're already almost to the muzzle. Well, aside from getting ejected from the vise by the recoil, it handled 250 grains just fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the full barrel test now. I'm guessing that's only going to be about 280 to 300 grains. Uh, but we'll just fill up the barrel with powder, stick a ball on it, and then go fire it again. Okay, there you can see the barrel's full of powder. I'm going to knock just enough of that off that I can get a ball in there. Mm 
There, hopefully you can see that. Ball is just barely below the muzzle. Whole barrel's full of powder. Put a new primer on it and we'll go fire it. So one thing I'm noticing about these ultra-large powder charges is that they tend to blow a lot of fouling out the flash hole in the back. So I've got a Utah pistol that's badly in need of a cleaning and a vice that needs some repairs, but this 50 caliber smoothbore barrel that I made from a piece of DOM tubing survived the testing just fine. Anyway, that concludes our testing for now, so until next time, thanks for watching The Idahoan Show.